first season, he's now serving time for not he paying is. taxes on his prize money. And he has now been invited back for season 10 of Survivor. But federal prosecutors say he should not be allowed to do that until he serves his time and pays the 400 grand he owes, he owes to government. He should only be allowed to be the Secretary of the Treasury for not paying his taxes, I think. Maybe Timothy Geithner should be on Survivor, too. But they actually, together... Or Sarah. Was that, or Sarah. Sarah owes 500000 also. What? I mean, I'm serious. This is... I, I don't yeah. think the... I think the Seems fact like that he's the, being the asked The amount back. of the week is $500,000. And he says, we're, we're believing, we're supposedly believing a guy who didn't pay his taxes the first time well, from the show to go Richard. back. Let's get back no, to... No, I'm saying, no, Richard... Is that the guy who said... He went on Survivor, one or whatever, and he right. was like the naked guy. I love his dick. And then he won the money. <laughs> right. And there were trust, but he didn't pay his taxes on it, supposedly. That's why he's doing the time. Right. He still owes money, and yet we're going to trust him to go earn, get the no, money again and do, come back and pay taxes. They do liens, because I didn't had a bunch of liens on my yeah. paycheck, and you, <laughs> and what they do, I'm sure. <laughs> when you owe them money, yeah, when book. you owe them money, you get a paycheck, they put a lien on you. If you're going to get money, they yeah. put a lien on your check. The government will get their money. Well, so then if they assume that he's going to win again, maybe they think it's a well, good I thing for the them government to should have do him everything over there. They can to make sure he taxes. eats those roaches and crabs and does whatever he does to win. It's not easy to last all those days. Roaches or crabs. <laughs> but we will be right back with more hot topics. <laughs> season, he's now serving time for not he paying is. taxes on his prize money, and he has now been invited back for season 10 of Survivor. But federal prosecutors say he should not be allowed to do that until he serves his time and pays the 400 grand he owes, he owes to government. He should only be allowed to be the Secretary of the Treasury for not paying his taxes, I think. Maybe Timothy Geithner should be on Survivor, too. But they actually, together... Or Sarah. Was that, or Sarah. Sarah owes 500000 also. What? I mean, I'm serious. This is... I, I don't yeah. think the... I think the Seems fact like that he's the, being the asked back... The amount of the week is $500,000. And he says, we're, we're believing, we're supposedly believing a guy who didn't pay his taxes the first time well, from the show to, to go Richard. back. Let's get back no, to... No, I'm saying, no, Richard Is that the guy who said... He went on Survivor, wanted or whatever, and he right. was like the naked guy. I love his dick. And then he won the money. <laughs> right. And there were trust, but he didn't pay his taxes on it, supposedly. That's why he's doing the time. Right. He still owes money, and yet we're going to trust him to go earn, get the no, money again and come back and pay taxes. They do liens, because I didn't have a bunch of liens on my yeah. paycheck. And you, <laughs> and what they do, I'm sure. <laughs> when you owe them money, yeah, when book. you owe them money, you get a paycheck, they put a lien on you. If you're going to get money, they yeah. put a lien on your check. The government will get their money. Well, so then if they assume that he's going to win again, maybe they think it's a well, good I thing for them to should have do him over there. They can to make sure he taxes. eats those roaches and crabs and does whatever he does to win. It's not easy to last all those days. Roaches or crabs. <laughs> but we will be right back with more Hot Topics. <laughs> Confirmation hearings begin today for Judge Sonia Sotomayor. And some people say her biggest issue will be proving she can apply the law firmly without bias to any group. Now, I find it extraordinary because, you know, people are always grilled very hard by every side. And I think this is going to be no different. This yeah. is going to be, I don't think this is... You know, a lot of people are saying, oh, it's the Democrats versus the Republicans. But I actually think people are concerned about how the law is going to be applied because they all got scared when she said, you know, a smart Latina woman would, you know, probably... A Latina woman with the richness of her experience right. would a often... A wise Latina would come right. to a better conclusion than a white man right. about mm -hmm. certain things, maybe, right. that apply to a wise Latina. <laughs> Well, right. I, I think what she's talking about probably is are things like uh, the affirmative action laws uh, being pro-choice or pro-whatever. Um, I think those are the things she's talking about. And when you look at the the judgments of the courts over the years, mm -hmm. I thought that they've been pretty smart and yeah. pretty good. They haven't been as as out there as they were when we were kids That's because, not, yeah. you know. But there things have to be interpreted also. I mm -hmm. always find this odd. How do you say, oh, it's strict strict constitutional law without an interpretation. When they wrote uh, all men are created equal, they left out white men and women. So now people have to make the adjustment to that. And they that's left out white men? Let's, you said they left out white men? Black men and women, I'm sorry. You're also, you're, this, there's Black a men. There's, Fix that up, They girl. left out real Black men. men. Yeah. <laughs> have to understand that this that is their job they take an oath yeah. to mm -hmm. without bias prejudice etc 
um, have that pure interpretation of law. And yeah, I think right. that that's what everyone is, is asking of her. You know, um, President Obama had said that he, in looking for someone for this position, wanted someone um, who had empathy, who could understand someone else's situation. Yeah. What's wrong Certainly, with that? I, you know, I think empathy is an, a very important quality. Yeah. I also don't believe it has a place on the bench of the Wait, Supreme I, Court. because I, doesn't? I don't think so, because yeah, what it does is it, A, puts yeah. in emotion, when you're interpreting our, our law, okay, emotion shouldn't be there. And, you, and empathy also makes it not only emotional, but also personal. I understand you and where you're coming from because I've been there. Therefore, like if you're, if you're judging something, okay, if, you're, if the law says you shall not drive drunk, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, right. you pull someone over. It's your job to judge whether someone else has been driving drunk or not. Right. They pull over, drunk, driving. You say, you know what? Ah. I've been there. I had too many to drink. I got in my car. You I put the keys broke in. The law. Wait a minute. You still broke I, the law. But here's the ticket. No, if if you apply that and you don't come out with the conclusion that says, you know what, though, I, I understand it, so I'm going to let you off. I don't think what that's logical. What they want from her is strict interpretation of the law, pure interpretation of the law, minus the empathy, and I think that's uh, you know when fair. you say, when you say pure interpretation, yeah. I mean you have all these different people coming from. I'm, I think of Thurgood Marshall mm -hmm. when he became um, a Supreme Court justice. Now, he came from a place his ancestors were slaves. So he's got something before him. He's bringing his interpretation to a case. I mean, you just can't help it. I mean, you, you, you use one example. If you're you use one example. Supreme Court. You use one example. Uh, we use, let's say, uh, I don't know, the Gina Six thing, you know, instead of the drunk driving. So I think somebody else is going to come from a, a whole different place and looking at this situation with... Um, five young black men who are getting discriminated against. I'm not, I think it and would yet, be a different situation than uh, the for white if the, men. If but the if ruling you're not is getting that, a job, sure. wait a minute, if you're not getting a job because you're black, mm -hmm. it's not the same as being drunk. You're not breaking yeah. the law. If you, you are, are not look at the case in Connecticut. Of your look at the fire, that's a completely different. What about argument? the firefighters' case when she thought that there was that affirmative she was action did break the law she the way was, it was written? She was yeah. overturned. Was, she did exactly what you said she, she was, should do. No, she was actually. People are concerned with her that she's going to interpret based on her own quotes. Okay, that she's going to interpret the law based on her own experience, apply empathy, and come out with a conclusion that does not that is not in sync with the that's law. That's not what that's her what record shows. Worried about. And Sam Alito, by the way, Samuel Alito, who's an Italian. American. He has stated publicly, I think, from my experience as an Italian American male. I mean, no one's jumping all over him. As long as the ruling, look, all I would want in most Americans is that, woman, hello. that the law is read in its pure state. But okay. for Sotomayor, I believe she had 96 cases of discrimination and she rejected yeah. 76 of them. So, I mean, just her track record yeah. alone I mean, she says that she's going I, by the interpretation of the law. But when someone is but using the word empathy, I don't I, think it has a place I, on the bench. I think it doesn't have, you, you have to, I think you can't help but go from your experiences yeah, you because can. you know one of the reasons that that the that the body has sort of done some of the things that they've done were because of the things that they had seen or the things they had grown up with, things that they felt were wrong and could be changed. Mm -hmm. I think you must always say to people, yes, as you were pointing out, I, I know how you're feeling. I went through this, but as the law sits right now, it cannot be changed because of X, Y, Z. Yeah. You have to be able to say, otherwise you're just a machine and we could just get a computer to do it. So you can say to people, yeah, I, I get where you're coming from, but does that make this right for the whole, for everybody? Maybe not. But you also, know what I'm don't, you think, don't you think also that uh, white men have sat on the court for, for centuries, that they have not come from a white male perspective, I, I which has eliminated black people, Asians, a lot of them. A uh, women. I mean, they come from a white male I perspective. I absolutely think that's wrong too. If they had empathy for for men in their their situation and thought, you know, I have empathy for they the did. white guy who's not maybe getting the job because of from an effort action. I don't believe in that either. That's why I but think that's you how need they've done it. you need to remove and they got, that. And they, and like they got, that. I don't think it's right though. Just because someone has done something before doesn't make it right now. Yes. I think that empathy that's needs what to be removed. Action is about though justice. Well, that, well, okay. Well. To. You know, it's gonna just keep correct going like, wrong. yeah, we're so we gonna correct the wrong right now. Correct it. Because we have been chit chatting too long. <laughs> too long, oh Lord. People got to go to commercial to buy stuff. Amen. But when you come back, we will be back with more of this. The highest top on television.